Hello everyone, welcome back, I hope you're well. Today I am going to be doing some fashion, fashion faves, new in, just some things that I've been loving, that are kind of new that I love. Let's use the term fashion loosely because I'm not the most fashionable person ever. I just like clothes and styling shit. Variation of different brands. Some of you might already know that I am doing, I am now working with ASOS, which is like the dream collab for me. Um, so a lot of the stuff I have is from ASOS as part of the collaboration, but this video ain't got nothing to do with it. Um, that's all that Instagram shit. So this is just me showing some stuff that I've worn a lot, that I've loved. I'm gonna dive straight in. I hate long intros. Okay, so first of all, I think this is a winner chicken dinner this dress has gone down so well on social on like my instagram in terms of people asking where it's from for the link and i'm not i'm not really surprised because it's a lovely dress so it's oversized for a start in this gorgeous stripe um and the sleeves a little bit frilly it's a perfect dress for just chucking on. I wore it a lot when I was away in Scotland. I've worn it a few times recently. It's just a really nice day dress. Obviously we are coming into autumn so it's chilling a little bit but you know a pair of tights, long boots. You see what I'm saying? It's still a really great dress. I don't know whether they have many of these available but I know that this style is, uh, there's a few different colours in this style and patterns. So even if this particular one isn't available, I would see if you can get it in a different colour or a different pattern. It's tempting, for, even for myself. I'm a huge fan of roll necks, high neck tops, long sleeves, and I have a zebra print one from Saturday by Megan Ellaby. It is, oh my God, this drawer is a fucking nightmare. This zebra print one, it goes with a ton of shit, but recently in the post, because because Megan and her brand know how much I love them. They recently sent me through some new ones. So this first one, green with pink, green and pink leopard print. I'm becoming a bit more of a fan of green because since, you know, being a ginger, I never really liked green before, but since becoming ginger, I feel like it kind of works, especially when it's like bright orange. It's like a carrot, carrot vibes. No, it just, I feel like it works better. But this is a really wacky, really fun, very punk, I would say. I'm thinking, I'm talking like nice space, emo days. That's probably not the intention she had. It does remind me a bit like that. I'm not mad about it, but also just quite, just groovy baby out there. And we're talking groovy baby. This, this next one is really, really groovy. This is a wavy one. This is so Austin Powers, it's unreal. I just need some like frills and I'd be all the way there. I'm just, I'm really loving watching her brand sort of grow and transform um, and have way more products available. I love it and I'm so excited to style to style them. The one thing that I love wearing with a roll neck is a set of dungarees now. Um, I originally had the U Lucy and Yak dungarees in a corduroy. I purchased this set though recently and it's it's the, I, I can't, I actually can't remember the colour of these ones, but they're like cargo ones. So they've got like loads more pockets on them and they're in this lovely sort of beige, almost khaki, verging on khaki with a slight hint of green. Love these with a high roll neck, white or a white t-shirt. I wore these. I don't have to take a handbag when I wear these because there's so many pockets. I can fit everything I would possibly need in at least one of the pockets. Um, they're really comfortable. They're really spacious. I'm a size 14, so I get them in, I normally like a large. I get a large, a large. Sometimes I do have like the actual sizes as well. And also what's really cool is on the, on the ankle, they have like these poppers and then like a the flappy bit here, this little doodah. So you can roll up the legs and then there's at different points you can pop them up. So you can have the legs at different lengths. I like them quite cropped because I've got short legs. But it's good because then you can alter the length of them. Genius! Oh, I'm not gonna pop them there because they look messy. Girl, put your records on. Another winner winner chicken dicker, 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 dick. Is this monkey dress. Fabulous seasonal dress. It's like a big, it's almost bat wing. It's very wide and it sort of drapes because it's so wide you get all these lovely ruffles. My friend Heidi's also got this dress. 
And when we when we both discovered that we both had the dress, we were very excited. I've just noticed it has pockets. Fuck, game changer. Love it even more. I really like this sort of, yeah, this lovely, very groovy baby daisy print where it's got polka dots on it as well. I've worn this a ton of times. Day dress, I worn it out um, for dinner and cocktails for my mum's birthday when we went to Bath. That was fun. Massive fan of it. Obviously, it would have made the cut in the video. Now, this one's a bit tricksy. Oh God, it's inside out for a start. So I wore this in a recent Instagram post. It went down very, very well. I love this dress, but it does need a bit of work with it. Initially I bought it because I thought it was really 70s. I love the colors of it, I love the rust, I love the, the pattern, and then sort of this ruffly effect. I thought it was just really cool, and I wanted it to go with my hair color. I just love rust tones. So it looks like this, Ovs. It's got these lovely sleeves and like a silk wrist bit which I oh, just love that shape there it's so it's like Edwardian pirate wench queen I love all this sort of detailing around the top here but around the middle it's got like okay it's got like this sort of multi rib like multi elasticated sort of bit that goes around the waist and I didn't think that really worked to me I put it on and I thought this looks really fucking frumpy and so re it's make it giving me a really odd shape so I just got like a brown leather waist belt put it quite tight around this part like my actual waist and then I just pulled it and it made the world of a difference I know that's kind of annoying, you don't really want to have to buy a dress that just needs a bit of work, but equally, I absolutely love everything else about it. It's like a tile print, it's not even animal print, it looks like tiles. It looks like an old, you know like if you pull a carpet up and you've got like this old floor underneath it? It's like that. It's so gorgeous. So I, I, I was thinking, oh nah man, this ain't nice, this looks stupid, but you know, a little bit of tweaking. My bag at the moment that I use every day, I think I put this in my monthly feels and faves, but I still use it every single day. It's this patent croc skin crossbody bag with this little doodah here. It really reminds me of the Prada bag, which I really want, but I just can't buy it because it's so much money. This will do the job though, and it's nice because I love the metal detail, the silver metal. It's a really decent size. I could fit my phone, my purse, my face mask, and some hand sanitizer in it. And then I use this bit for my parking ticket, hotel card keys, not much else really. You can put cards in it because it's got a card holder in the front there. I don't really use it for anything else other than that, but it's just perfect because I just wear it over my front like that. I just wear it like this, usually underneath my jacket. But it's just a great, it's a, it's a perfect little size. What do I need? I'll get it out right now. It's a sick little bag. Um, highly recommend it if you're looking for a little handbag. Day to night as well. And it is a bit of a, it's a bit of a Prada dupe. Little dupe, little dupe dupe. One day I will have that Prada bag, because it is gorgeous. I just bought a sofa, so I can't, I can't. What else? Oh, it's just coming from the wash because it's still got a peg on it. Just. Quickly, do a hands up. Who here had kickers for school shoes? I did once, and I know my sisters did. So I always have a little bit of love for kickers, just for the nostalgia, just for those 90s mems, yo. Happy meals. Ah. This is, smells great, because I just washed it. Ah. I got this kickers jumper, and it is fab. Pink, brown, and black kind of gross colours. Also reminds me of a Neapolitan ice cream. For me, and my sort of colour scheme, whatevs, perfect. It's had a lot of compliments, this this jumper. Big fan, I love that it's got striped around the edges, and then round the wrists, striped too. I think it's gorgeous, it's fab. Again, I always get things like large. What size did I get? A medium. I got medium. Quite, it's quite big then, it's quite oversized. This is a medium, I would have normally got a large, but I got a medium and it's still lovely and oversized and gorgeous. I'm really starting to get into, starting to turn into a little town. Okay, my tracksuit love start, started in lockdown. Um, so kickers, I've got an Alessi tracksuit now, which I wear all the time. I don't know what it is, I'm, I'm turning into a townie guys. No shame though. All those retro feels, tracksuits. Brands, yeah. Anyway, there's only a, there's a couple more things to go. This shirt is so fucking cool. Um, it makes me feel a little, like, quite trendy, actually. It's by a brand called Gospel. This gingham shirt, lol. It's very square, big 
big square shaped shirt like this and then it has these two ties at the front which you tie into a nice big bow well I do so it sits like this at the front there like a collar and then you have these really gl glorious puffy sleeves as well it's a great size it's one of those shirts that I don't mind hanging above my trousers. With blouses, I'm really funny. They, they either have to be the right shape or they just always have to be tucked into a pair of trousers. Like, I'm, I just feel odd having blouses out of trousers. Um, this is a, it's just because it's oversized, I feel like it sort of sits nicely on the body. But yeah, I do most of the time tuck shit into my jeans. It's got a shimmer to it, like a sheen. But it's just cool, like, it makes me feel a little bit more tailored and a bit more, I don't want to say trendy, less lazy. Like, a little, yeah, a little bit more trendy, just a bit cooler. And I, I've worn it a few times out and about, and I work for a band photo shoot. It's really cute as well. It sort of adds the versatility to my style, if that makes any sense. For some reason, I felt like I was in Mary Poppins when I was wearing it. I got myself a new set of Levi's. These are like high waist, widest leg jeans. I was really naughty and don't fucking come at me or judge me but with jeans if they're too long rather than getting my mum to turn them up for me like I used to I just cut the ends off because I actually really love a jagged raggy hem my favorite jeans have got like jagged hems and these were a bit too long so I just cut the bottom off them no shame my jeans do what I want with them be careful I've done it I've had a few practice rounds on jeans so I was obviously going to be very careful with these because they're Levi's. But they look fucking cool and I've got no shame in that. Um, I got a size 32. A little bit big on the big side. No, it's, it's, it's okay though. Um, they're a loose wide leg. I would uh, I would definitely consider downsizing. I'm not, it's not the end of the world. I wear my belt with them. But they are quite roomy. Which I guess the benefit of that is they are very comfortable and feel good. Um... And they're a pale denim. I I I, I told I said I was gonna stop buying jeans. <sighs> Real addiction. The belt that is on these jeans at the minute is this one. I was wearing a, a gold one. I had like non-stop. But I think this is cool. It's still got like studies on it, little balls, and it's a, a silver buckle. Um, it was either the gold one I had or the, these huge western belts, which aren't aren't like terrible. They just sometimes are a bit much. Um, but yeah. This belt, love this belt. I say it's subtle. It's not that subtle, but it's subtler than the other belts that I have. It's just a good everyday belt. Lastly, um, these are definitely going to be up there with my autumn winter boot collection, i.e. these are gonna be worn a lot, a lot more very soon. I do feel like this was influenced by the fact that I've started watching Sons of Anarchy from the start. And so when I wear these, in my head down the street, I am like, we're heading for this world. And I'm also daydreaming about Jax. My fucking God, he does not get old. I mean, fancying him does not get old. I do not get tired of fancying that guy. <gasps> I would love to be his old lady, let's put it that way. These go with pretty much everything I wear, which is great. I think sometimes like black boots can look a bit too like, <gasps> contrasty and much with it because these are grey and a worn that a worn look I think you can they're a bit more forgiving you can wear them with a few more things so that was it like that was that's a few of things that I've really been enjoying just sort of winning pieces in my eyes hope you enjoyed it nice chatting hope you all have a great evening um and day yeah fab cool take care peace out lots of love bye